Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to bind your Hummingbird flight controller to your FR Sky radio. First thing we're gonna do is create a new model in the radio. So go ahead and push menu, scroll down to an empty profile, hit enter, create model, select the quadcopter, and then scroll through your channel assignments, hit long enter to confirm, and now we have a new model. Exit out of that, hit menu, then page, you can scroll up to get to the bottom quicker, but you'll want to scroll up until you get to the mode. It'll say D16 by default. Go ahead and hit enter, and we're going to change that to D8. Scroll down to bind. At this point, we can grab our Hummingbird flight controller and plug in a battery to the actual quad. After that's plugged in and got power, your receiver should blink red like this if it's not bound. All we're gonna do is push this bind button on the top of the receiver just once, which will put it into bind mode. You'll see the LEDs will start flashing red and blue quickly, just like police lights, meaning it is in bind mode. I'm gonna go back to my radio, and now I'm gonna click bind. You'll see the receiver is now blinking green. And then goes back to red, which means it's bound. If I go back out, you can see the receiver light is now solid green, indicating that we are bound to the receiver. Now that we're done binding the receiver to the radio, we want to make sure the radio is set up with the correct default channel mapping for FR Sky. FR Sky uses the AETR default channel mapping, so if your radio is using something else, then the mapping for the receiver is not going to be correct, and you cannot change it in the flight controller, you have to change it in the radio. To check and see what default channel mapping your radio is using, go ahead and hold the menu button down, scroll up to get to the bottom, and then you'll see it says default channel order, which is AETR, which is correct for the FR Sky version of our Hummingbird flight controller. If it's set to anything else, you'll want to change it to AETR. The next step I'm going to show you is how to assign switches for arming and choosing the flight mode on the flight controller. Go ahead and hit menu, we'll hit page, and we're going to go all the way until we get to the mixer page. Uh, these one through four channels are your controls. So the first available channel should be channel five. We're gonna hit enter, and then we're gonna select the source for this one. So this is gonna be our arm switch. Um, you can hit the source, which will then let you choose any of your switches on your radio to assign it to. I like to use this particular switch here, so I'm just gonna move the switch, and you can see it changes to that SB switch position, and that switch is assigned to that channel now. We can hit exit, exit and then go down to channel six to assign a new switch, which I'm gonna use for my flight modes. Again, go down to the source, highlight it, and then select whatever switch you want. I'm gonna use this one right here because it is a three position switch. Click that, there we go, it's assigned SA, exit out. And now I have an arming and a mode switch assigned in the radio. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.